Hey guys, welcome to Aramella Gaming, where it is very dark right now because it is a nighttime in Project Zomboid. And this is a fire officer Bethany who's gonna run downstairs, grab something to eat, and then I guess go back outside, even though it is really freaking dark out. I don't know how much of a good idea that is. But that's what we're gonna do. So we need food for Bethany. Um, I guess she's just gonna have a, a midnight snack of ice cream. Lots and lots of ice cream. All right, yummy. Wait, I think she still has it in her inventory, which will get messy fairly quickly. So let's put that back in the freezer. Okay. The other thing I was going to do is switch out this rolling pen for like maybe a saucepan or something. Did I just turn the inner, the uh, oven on? I did. I think maybe the uh, saucepan might be a little bit more useful. Where is it? It's over here? There it is. Maybe the frying pan? Well, let's do this one because I can use this for the corn and to collect rainwater. So I think that'll be the best. Um, so rolling pen back in the cupboard. Um, maybe I have to unequip it first. There we go. Back to cupboard. And then saucepan. Grab that. Oh wait, no, I said frying pan, didn't I? Hang on. Yikes. I have to get used to looting and stuff again. Okay, grab that. Grab. Grab. There we go. And then frying pan, equip as primary weapon. It works for Princess Peach, it'll work for us. And then let's get a drink. Hang on. Uh, stop doing things, Bethany. Is that sink? It is. Okay. All right. Now it is dark but I think we'll head out because I don't think she can sleep again. Where's the stairs over here? Let's just run up, maybe see if she'll go back to sleep. Maybe she just got peckish. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Bed. Wait, is there a... All right, I found a light. Okay. Nope, turn that back on. It's not working. Let's try this. Yeah, she won't sleep again. Well, let's go ahead and turn that back off. And stumble our way down the stairs. I don't know if they can see the light through the curtains, but we're headed out anyway. So no need to chance it. Well, let's step around the body. Wow. I do have a flashlight. I wonder if that would be useful or too dangerous. Eh, it's lighter in here. All right, to pillaging. Loot all. I really need to find a bag, like, very quickly. Okay, go out. But let's take all our goodies back over here. And then come back again. Ha! 
All right, I'm gonna risk the flashlight because this is ridiculous. But I had a flashlight. Maybe I don't. Maybe I have a light bulb and I thought flashlight. On the bright side, the zombies can't see me either, but they can still hear me. Okay, so... Tool-like things go in here, which I guess we'll put the shotgun in here too. And box of shotgun shells, light bulb, All right, and then upstairs. Okay, turn on the light. And put in our shoes. Tank top. Keep the rip sheets. Now I know this leather jacket would help bite defense, but it's also really heavy. Oh, well, it's point six equipped. I see that, so maybe we'll use it. And so how do we... Leather jacket... Where? Hopefully that won't overheat her. But I suppose being overheated is better than being bit. I feel like I hear zombies somewhere. Oh, I wish the day would come. Ooh, these guys have some food, don't they? All right, well, let's take all their food. Loot all. And we have orange soda. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, cocoa powder. Yep, take it all. Now, what we really need is a can opener. There's more canned food. Roasting pan. Um, a spatula. Guess we'll grab this. And I know she's be a little bit encumbered, but I'm hoping she can make it back without it hurting too much. What exactly does this do? I don't know. I know if she gets too over encumbered, it'll start hurting her, but. she's okay for a little bit. And put our newfound food away. Did I turn? I keep turning off the oven or uh, on the oven. I want to turn off the oven. Wait, was there a shelf up here? No, it was just the fridge. Okay. This will be the food cupboard. Chocolate. Not like I actually know how to cook anything on here, but it's good to have. And 
pop. Does this need to be TV dinner uncooked? I wonder if we need to put that in the freezer. I mean, it was in the cupboard over there, so I suppose it's okay. And then over here, we'll put the roasting pan we found. And our backup frying pan. And then let's get rid of this stuff. Um, Q, move to shelves. And these dirty rags, I think we could clean those, can't we? So clean rag. And wash. Well, we'll worry about washing later. For now, I'm just drink. Alright, we're off again. Get rid of all that. Close that. Thank you. Wait, I didn't actually mean to drop all of it. Grab the rip sheets. Grab all of the rip sheets. There we go. Okay. These first couple days are just about her figuring out how to, you know, use the controls again. And then back in this house, where she is already hungry again. So we can grab these cans and hope that we find a uh, can opener later. There is a knife here. Do you think that would be better than... Hmm, I wonder if knife or frying pan. Well, let's grab it. We'll decide later. And then... More fresh corn. Mmm, <laughs> broccoli. Eat all the broccoli. It's good for you. You just had a half carton of ice cream. Loot all. Uh, this one? No? Why are you not? I have no idea. Let's try this. Oh, it's because I'm trying to put them into my key pocket. Wow. No, don't eat the butter. Don't eat the butter. All right, fine. Eat the butter. See if I care. And then let's see what else is in here. Oh, uh, light balm. And that's it. Upstairs. Alarm clock. Let's grab this. I already have a pen, but we can grab it and just stick it in the... Grab. I'll grab these two. Might as well. I'm carrying it all back right now. Okay, is that all that's in here? Can't quite tell. You know, because of the pitch darkness. How about in here? Ooh. 
Okay, well, she is now encumbered again, but she's got like half the upstairs done. So let's take all this crap back. Maybe it's getting a little lighter. Slowly. Wait, where'd my door go? Over here. <laughs> okay, light bulb. And let's sit in here. And then... Trying to decide if I want one of the pens. Grab one. And then kitchen. So, more canned food. She could eat for several days at this point if she could just find a freaking can opener. And then kitchen knife. Do I want it? And we'll put it in. We'll decide later. Hopefully not when she needs it. Packaged corn. Should we put that in the freezer? And then we'll go ahead and do this word search. She's had a hard day. Fast forward. And then upstairs. I think I have all the windows downstairs covered, so let's go in here. And... Add sheets. And... Close curtains. There we go. Then we'll go in here, put away our new clothes. For her, the zombie apocalypse has just turned into shopping. <laughs> like, she's got a new jacket, some new pants. She's doing good. And then let's go back downstairs and put the soap in the bathroom. Excellent. back next door. Actually, let's get a drink real quick. It's definitely getting lighter. She has a little shit over here, too. I never searched. There might be a... Uh, better weapon in here. Do, how do I not have the key to my own shed? I spawned in here. I presume it's her house. <laughs> I could break the window, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, so I've looted most of this house at this point. Not much in here. More curtains. We will steal these. Is it stealing if all the occupants are dead? That's a moral quandary for you. 
Or are we just presuming they're dead? I don't know. Alright guys, I think I've pretty much looted this house. I, uh, did I get the bathroom? I think I did, but we'll just check. Yeah. Wait, there's a mirror. Let's grab all this. Excellent. So, seems like maybe there's something this way. Yeah, there's a bathroom. And this way. Another sheet. I wonder if these bath towels are... Might as well grab them, because we're not going to be back here. Maybe we can turn them into bandages or something. All right. One house fully looted. What I might do is come back and try to disassemble the furniture for construction talent. If I could find a hammer and... What else did you need for that? Uh, was it a screwdriver or a saw? I don't remember. There's a saw in here. Hey, stop that, Bethany. Go in there. So there's a screwdriver and a saw, but I think you need a hammer. I think. Which I might have in that uh, shed over there, but I have to break in. Which, I guess I should. Um, what else did I have on me? Actually, I guess mostly it was bathroom stuff, huh? Okay, well. Let's go ahead and close the various curtains. And add to any that don't have any. Which I think we might have it covered now. All right, cool. We'll just put them in here for if we need them later. Sheets. Move to cabinets. And then we'll go in here. Oh, wait. Thought we had a desk. Is there anything in these boxes? Oh, yeah. Winter stuff. We'll just go put all our desk-like stuff in the shelves over here. Like this sheet of paper. And that might be it. There's a magazine. I guess we don't need to carry it. Cool. And then bathroom. Sleeping tablets, toothpaste, razor for some reason, and antidepressants. And the last thing is in this one over here, dish towels. All right. Let's uh, drink some water and eat something quick, like these chips. Lots of chips. What is this? Well fed. We could eat something else like this. Okay, she's stuffed. She's probably pretty good for a little bit. So. I'm going to break this window. Let's make sure there's not another window that I'm blatantly missing. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So. Smash window. And remove broken glass. 
Now, before we go in here, let's just make sure we didn't ring the dinner bell. Which we did. All right. Maybe just one. And stop him. Okay, that might be all right. Well, what did? Oh, you're drowsy. Okay, well we'll we'll let you have a lie down in a minute. So we got some books on various topics. We will loot all of them. And what else we got? Now a metal bar. That sounds like it might be a good uh good weapon. Box of nails, garden saw. We have a wooden mallet. Well, lead all. And then let's go out the actual door this time. Go stick all this in our tool shelf. So this we're going to equip as our primary weapon now. Wait. Yep, yep. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, you, 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 you. Scratch, she scratched. Scratch does not bitten. Um... Bandage with rip sheet. And then. I, you jerks. We're just gonna walk by, close the door, and then we're gonna try to ditch him over here. Come on, guys. Ah, <sighs> Bethany. Darn it. Well, there's some more of them here. Let's see about going this way. And then way over here. And then let's jump this fence. And then we'll sneak. To the back side of her house. <sighs> I think we might have ditched them. I will say, though, that pipe worked better than the frying pan. Okay. Are we okay? I think we're okay. Let's get rid of all this crap. I don't have an antiseptic. Metal sheet. Safety goggles. Okay, let's go. Wait, 
I think I put the mallet on her. <laughs> Seems like it's on her weapon. On as a weapon. Don't need that. Get rid of these books. And now we could get rid of the frying pan as well. Okay, now what do we have? in our bathroom for first aid. I don't think we had an antiseptic. Painkillers. No. But we can clean our bandage, so let's do that. Yep, dirty bandage, remove. Put on a new one. Can I clean the wound? Wash. We'll just totally wash ourselves. Then we'll put on a new bandage. Maybe that'll help. Hurry, your health's going down. And then bandage. Let's clean that rag. Drink some water. Eat some chocolate. Where's the chocolate? That's what I want now. Hey, get off of that. Anxious on edge. Yeah, I bet. Um... Grab one. Eat all of it. And she just like runs home and eats some chocolate. Like, ah, oh, crap. And then let's go nap. Maybe that'll help her anxiety. Yes, let's sleep. Alright, Bethany, that was a close call. Unpleasantly hot. Probably because she's wearing a leather jacket. Let's take that off for a little bit. And then change your bandage. And then let's go down and wash that one. Are you really on edge? Okay, hang on. I have just the thing for that. Where are they? Um, let's get rid of that nonsense there. Look, there's some antidepressants. Would that help you? How do we get to them? Ah, ah. It's the problem with trying to play with both the controller and a mouse. Okay. Take pills. Did this help? I mean, did I actually take them or did I just quote unquote take them? Well, pretty sure I took those, so. And then wash. Clean rag, that's what we need. Okay, Bethany. I know you're a nervous wreck and all, but gotta go out at some point. Why not now? There are still zombies wandering our yard. Let's lead them this way.
and then try to ditch them over the fence. And let's try to get into this house now. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> let's go. Let's go try to get into this house now. Hopefully I've lured them away. She's still unpleasantly hot. It's probably because the firefighter pants. Just you. Hey, come back. Don't wander away. I'm trying to bash you. I think I hear somebody in here. What is your problem now? Feeling a little sad? Right, there's one behind me. Uh, I was hoping I'd knock her over. Hey, back off, Grandma. Okay, let's move a little bit. I don't like how they're closing in on me. This is my neighborhood. Not yours. Go away. Okay. Jeez. Now. Let's see about opening this door. Well. Got a window open. Oh, I thought I killed you. I thought I killed you. Uh, remove broken glass. I still hear one, though. Presumably in here. And I don't know how many are in there, so I don't know if I want to go in after them. Let's kind of just wander around the outside, see what we can see. Oh, nothing in the kitchen. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, you... I knew you were there and you still got me and you got me again. Oh boy. Well, I don't like you. I'm gonna bash you. Outside I can fight him, inside not so much. Just, just get bashed. Come on, you've already taken chunks out of me, lady. Ah, well. Scratch, scratch, scratched. <laughs> Which is not, still not bitten, but. <laughs> poor Bethany, poor Bethany. She is looking pretty beat up now, isn't she? Feeling a little sad, nervous wreck, dry mouth unpleasantly hot. Well, we could at least fix the water thing for her. Okay. Get rid of all this. Um, antiseptic. I think I can sterilize those somehow. Like in the saucepan? 
Okay. Stop pressing things that I can't do anything about. Bandages. Well, let's grab that. Uh, loot all. Can opener. Let's loot all this and head back to our house. Ah, <sighs> Bethany, Bethany. I killed like six of them out there and then I got caught by the one in the freaking closet. Now, where did she live, Bethany? I think it was this corner house over here. The one with all these zombies outside of it. And she is feeling queasy, which is not a good sign. lead them this way. Apparently I forgot how to jump a fence. Okay. What the heck? Where did you come from? Well, now I have a corpse. I don't want a corpse in my living room. wonder what I can do with that. Maybe take it outside? Uh, we'll just go ahead and drink the milk. in the fridge and then let's change your bandages And clean the ones that she has. Okay, now, what can I do with this? Uh, not loot. I'm not wanting to loot. I want to actually pick it up. Grab corpse. Let's get rid of this. But not in the bathroom. Out this door. Nope, don't remove bandage. Don't remove bandage. What are you doing? Put those back on. And then close the door.
and then we'll just leave it over here. Stop removing the bandage. <laughs> bandage that back up. You need that. Oh, I dropped it automatically. Apparently I can't jump a fence with a corpse. Okay, well. Okay. Well, she has had quite the day. Can I clean this blood? No. Let's grab a drink of water. Go take a nap. Can she shower on this? Let's see, is there a bathtub? Eh, wash yourself. Yeah, you can. Not gonna do it right this second, though. Ah, oh, she can't sleep. She's not tired yet. Or maybe she's in too much pain. Nervous wreck, minor pain, not too bad. Well, what do I have in my inventory? I have that leather jacket, but not a lot other than that. Let's go out our back door. Okay, so I'm not seeing any zombies. It is getting dark. I'm not loving that. And she's getting hungry. Remember if we remove the glass. Is there any food in here? Uh, can't seem to see. So I think this house over here is the one that I kind of was cleaning out. It's so dark, so dark. So maybe we'll just go take a peek in here. Oh, I hear. This is the house that got me in trouble last time. Oh, where's my weapon? Definitely in here, right? Maybe upstairs? This is so, so bad. Huh. Let's turn on the light. Oh, he's right there. Okay, hang on. Where was the out? Let's just go this way. If it's just that one guy, I think we could take him. Uh, 
All right. Do you have? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's not just the one guy. Get off me. In fact, it's at least three, four, five. We're gonna run. I think that jerk got me again. Well, that foray didn't go good, did it? Do this one, it's closer. Oh, my gosh! All right, fine, fine, I give up. We're going home. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna read until daylight. Ugh. I hear somebody though. You guys. Hey, you. Oh no, I broke my I broke my bar. All right, let's just see if we can't get their attention and lead them off. Everybody this way. Conga line that way. All right. Then we're gonna go this way. And this way. Did that work? Not sure. All right, well, she's kind of okay. <laughs> the uh, bar for okay has changed a lot since the apocalypse. So what can we eat? <gasps> oh, 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 you're in my house. You're in my house. How are you guys? Is it through that window over there? They keep getting in, and I don't like it. All right. To the corpse pile. No, don't take that down. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop it. Uh, she's infected. I don't know if that's zombie infection or just infection infection, but either way, it's not good. Will you go out? Go out your door. No, don't do the bandage. <laughs> Marg. Put that back on. Now go outside. And drop the corpse. Uh, corpse? Where's the corpse? Ah, corpse. Move to floor. And there's a guy. I have no weapon. Let's just try to push him down and stomp his head. All right, back inside. 
Yeah, I'm thinking it's through that window over there that uh doesn't actually have. Oh crap! But it doesn't have glass in it. It just has like a, a sheet over it. That one there. All right, who's banging on my door? Uh, nobody on this side. You. And I just heard somebody break a window. My house is under attack. That window there. So there's definitely a zombie. Push, push, get down on the ground. And I feel like there might be one in here. Zombies? Well, maybe we're okay. Bathroom zombie? No. All right, I think we're all right. My house is no longer safe. I am no longer safe. Things are bad. But there's still chocolate. We're going to eat all of it. And let's grab this too. Put it in the microwave. How do we use this thing? Turn on. Oh, it's burnt. It's burnt. Grab. Shh. Hush, microwave. Hush. Can I get me killed? Well, you're gonna have a burnt TV dinner. Here, read a comic book. And Have some antidepressants. Put them back. What else we got? Want some painkillers? Yeah, have some painkillers too. That's fine. You're probably dying from zombie infection. What else you got going on? Unpleasantly hot? Sure, take your pants off too, why not? Pants, pants. Yeah, remove those, unequip. Let's get her comfortable. <laughs> She's gonna die. <laughs> she might as well die comfortable, <laughs> as comfortable as possible, all right? Uh, wash those military boots.
You know what? Wash yourself too. Be be fancy. There you go. <laughs> Looking good. Let's find you some nice comfy jeans. Uh, there we go. What else is wrong with you? Queasy, depressed. I already took stuff and I think you're hot because of the zombie fever, so there's not much we could do for that. Let's change your bandages. I mean, the one that said it was infected doesn't say infected anymore, so... Is that a good thing? Is she possibly okay? Or am I being too optimistic? Wash, uh, clean rags. Well, let's uh, read for a while. Maybe that'll help her. Just ignore all the blood splatters in the room. Bethany, you're fine. So... Do you already know metalworking? Hang on. Uh, skills. What are our skills? These? No, that's crafting. Um... Skills. No, she doesn't. Well, do you, do you want to learn how to farm? Sure, here. Might as well get some education before she dies. What's going on now? Drowsy? Thirsty? Yeah, you're fine. You can have a drink after you read your book. Oh, I heard a machine gun outside. Someone's alive out there. Getting bored? Come on, you're occupied with the fun farming book. Learn how to grow carrots, like my Minecraft character, who's having a much better time than you are, actually. <laughs> She now knows how to farm for all the good it will do her. Drink. Change your bandages. Oh, that one's infected. And she went from nauseous, or uh, from queasy to nauseous. You're hungry? Here. What do we got? Close all that. The heck. Fine, we'll do it this way. Interact. No. Stop it. There we go. All right, what do you have? I mean, not a lot, but it's quick. You want some milk and lettuce for lunch or dinner, breakfast, whatever the heck time it is? Eat all the lettuce. Her diet is so weird right now. She's eating whole chocolate bars and cabbage and then 
like lettuce and just it's all over the place. Now I can disinfect those, can't I? Somehow, let's see if we can figure that out. Let's grab this and then fill saucepan with water, like so, and then put the saucepan with water, move to, no, move to oven, hang on, oven, nope, that's not right, um, Let's see. I will figure this out. Oven. Saucepan with water. Move to oven. There we go. Now. Ripped sheets. Hmm. Saucepan with water. No, that's not what we want. Rip sheets, move to oven. Is that what we did? Can you put these? We want these in there. I can't tell if they're actually in there or not. But let's see what happens when we turn it on. make a fire. That's what happens. Um, so that's heated. But I don't know that these are actually disinfect. There we go. That's what we want. Sterilized rag. Okay. We'll just leave that there. Turn off. And then let's remove that. And put a sterilized rag on it. This might be all better. It hasn't got dirty for a while. Okay. Well, she has the least... Uh, injury so far that she's had for a while. Now, let's go upstairs. Let's close this because it's not safe in my house. And then we'll sleep. Yep, sleep. Let's see if she's alive in the morning. She has discomfort. I think she might be infected. I mean, she seems she seems pretty, pretty infected to me. But then that. I don't know. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. No, don't remove the bandage. Let me out of the room. That's what I want. There we go. I should get her a new weapon. Um, this frying pan work. And what are you carrying that's so metal bar? We'll put that in here. It's broken. Then let's clean the dirty rag. Uh, 
And she's hungry again. Let's finish off this ice cream. Oh, and I still have that cabbage. Ice cream and cabbage. Great combination. And then I suppose if she's not going to wear the jacket and firefighter pants, we might as well put them away. And like a crazy person, we're going to go back outside. I feel like I need planks. And can you hammer with a wooden mallet? I don't know how that works. Uh, this book, that's what I was putting away. All right. What I need is like a hammer. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Jeez. Two seconds outside and I'm already bit again. Or whatever. You know. Whatever she is, she is. Crit yep, she is definitely bit now. Sorry, Bethany. I got you killed. But we knew it was going to happen eventually. Well, since she's done for anyway, let's go for a run. See how far we can get her. She wants to see the world. Or at least her block. Kill some zombies. What if she has to lose now? I mean, getting eaten to death as opposed to dying from infection, but still. Well, that didn't work. On you go. Oh, what's that pink place? It's weird, isn't it? Oh, Cortman meant well. Now I find a medical place. I don't think it's going to do you any good, Bethany. I'm sorry. Uh, climb over. Zombies. And what's in this one? Can I get in here? Nope. How about this way? Nope. It's a nice little fever ridden jog she's having. It's like when people are uh, freezing to death in the Alps and they start taking off all their clothes. She's dying of zombie infection. She's like, I'm headed out into the wilderness. More zombies. Oh, nothing in there. This frying pan is not as useful as one would think it. Nope, stop it. I'm trying to bash her head. I need to up my numbers before I die. <laughs> All right, fine. <sighs> Is there a key? That might be fun. Uh, 
Let's see. Who leaves their doors locked in the apocalypse? I mean, just let them open. People, people might need in. Uh, let's go check out what's over here. Uh, open. Sounds like someone's already in there. So pink was medical, it's green. Um, what is it, some restaurant? Oh, it's a laundromat. A vending machine. Let's drink some water real quick. Ooh, hurry, get out, get out, get out. I mean, there's not much this way, is there? Let's head back. Back down this road. How's she doing health-wise? Not great. I don't know why I'm bothering to change the bandage, but <laughs> I am. Okay, this way. So what's this blue fence, do we suppose? Um, oh, it's a train track. That's what this is. Let's follow it. Excuse me. Much longer she has. Well, she's got a little bit. She could live a couple more days. Well, other than the fact that I'm running her around out in the wilderness, but figure what the heck she was so cloistered her whole day and a half of life might as well get her out here so what is going to kill bethany first the infection getting eaten not having anything to drink or eat exertion that's a, that's a possibility. Wolves? I don't know. Well, there's not much out here. Nothing exciting to see. Let's head back. Um... Ah, uh, excuse me, guys. Can I move and look at the map at the same time? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. But I feel like it was this way, vaguely. I think I turned off. There's like a little mini map that I apparently turned off. Is that this? Yeah. I need that back. Ha! 
I went from let's have her die comfortable to let's have her die in the woods. Alright, just make your way carefully through the trees. You might get scratched. I'm almost back to some housing. Let's get her some food and water somewhere. Yeah, yeah, those are definitely wolves. Open. Open. Well, there's some in there, but... in here. Oh, it was, uh, someone was moving out. Well, let's go this way. The saddest thing is I really like that house over there. wonder if I could find my way back there with my next character. Bethany ain't taking no crap anymore. Hey, climb through. Shuts. Shuts. Uh. I have no idea where that's coming from, but... I have nothing to eat. Where did that even come from? <laughs> it like jump scared me, but there's nothing there. Um, she got back to her neighborhood. Foggy. Let's kill you. Hey, don't bite me. You're too late for that. All right, let's bandage your new injury. have his dirty rags and she's bleeding out quickly clean the rag like it matters I don't know why I'm caring about whether the rag is dirty or not <laughs> somehow I doubt she'll die of blood poisoning before she dies of zombie infection all right what is in Nobody has any food in their fridge. Not a stale pork chop. Where was that? Let's eat it. She's had worse. And let's get her some water. Find a nice cozy bed for her to die in. There's one. Let's close that. Hmm. 
You can't sleep. Come on. Might as well. Hey, I have an idea. <laughs> I have a bad idea, but I have an idea. Uh, take pills. She is not going to feel anything if she dies. Take pills. Take some more pills. Now can you sleep? No. Take some more pills. <laughs> How many of these things are in there? Take all the pills. Sleep? Sleep! Fine, rest. There you go, yeah. Go ahead, go to sleep. You're fine. I'm kind of surprised she woke up. Turn that off. Just trying to rest. Uh, come on, take a nap. Take your pills. I mean, let's be honest, I'm surprised she's uh, living through this. All right, you don't have any more pills. And you can't, can't sleep anymore. So what do you want to do, Bethany? Do you want a bath? That might be fun. Open door. Where's the bathroom? Oh, wait, I see it. I see it. <laughs> what do we got in here? Let's put on some lipstick. Makeup. Can't use the makeup? Why can't I use the makeup? Oh, you need a mirror. Alright, fine. I mean, clearly this wasn't made by women. You don't need a mirror to put on lipstick. And I mean, it helps, but you don't need one. Uh, what else is in this place? Hey, Ludal. She is going to take a nap, darn it. You will die peacefully in your sleep, Bethany. Gosh darn it. Can you sleep now? No. some more. Oh! <laughs> well, you died. <laughs> Three days, four hours. She didn't quite make it to die peacefully in her sleep, but I mean, I don't think she necessarily knew it was coming when it did. So, we survived for three days, four hours, killed 20 zombies. Game mode, Survivor. Ah, Bethany, you bit the dust. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I wandered you out and got you bit. Maybe your your next compatriot will do better. Well, I think uh, I think the end of Bethany is where we're gonna call it. 
So, uh, I hope you guys will join me again for our next outing. And we'll see if, hey, look, Bethany's already going back out. We'll see if maybe we can make our next one last a whole four days. So, thank you again for joining me, and I hope you join me again next time. (laughs) Bye-bye.